Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. This is the energy for this day, this time period. The energy could read for you as past, present, or future. If it resonates, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to the website, book your reading there. Let's go ahead and jump into this Cancer. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Cancer. So, uh, off camera, shuffling for you. Um, hang on one second. Let me fix this mic. Um, yeah. Okay, what I got for you, Cancer, um, what popped out of the deck? None of my cards are reversed, but it looks like this card flipped out in reverse, and it's the Four of Wands. So, there's an air, excuse me, of disharmony. I just say, I'm sorry of disharmony maybe um not being able to be successful in some project in something that you or a relationship something that um you wanted to celebrate you wanted it to come together or stay together at least um you had a vision in mind and you just knew that you would um get success here but it looks like something it's not successful or it's not coming together or it didn't come together or it fell apart. Something about feminine energy, uh, motherly energy, mother of. So I don't know if it's the mother of your children, mother, your mother, mother of something. Um, somebody may have caused interference in your home or upset your home life also. So um, that's what I'm getting. Or somebody came into your home and destroyed it or upset your your house, so your house is just in disarray, maybe in terms of how it looks also, um, uh, the aesthetics of it, or somebody, there's a feminine energy that's just like causing havoc in the relationship, the household, it could be whomever you're with, I don't know, something of that energy. Um, there's not, there's a lack of harmony here. Uh, people aren't, there's no reunion. Some of you thought you were going to have a reunion or a reconciliation with someone, and it's a no. Um, so that's disheartening also, okay? Um, or it's just not happening right now. What are the cards? Okay, so thank you, Lord God, for blessing cancer with the message. Uh, the Four of Pentacles. Okay, some of you are holding on to uh, grudges uh, for your partner, about your partner somebody was being domineering um, this was you or the other person somebody was trying to hold on to you and keep you in that little space in that box okay um, keep things at the status quo whatever it was that's what I want it to always be growth no keep it here whatever that may be or what that means for you cancer um, you were trying to keep something right where it was or someone else was trying to do this in terms of you uh, there was someone also trying to exert their their will, their force over you, on you, trying to change your mind, trying to change uh, what it is you want for yourself, or vice versa. This is what you are doing. Um, someone cultivated an air for stagnation and no growth, for it to become toxic and stuck. Someone would not allow the connection, the relationship to grow. Um, any further than what it was, maybe because somebody's already married, somebody's on the outskirts of the relationship. Keep in mind, this is our layered connection card. So there's a connection on top of a connection on top of So somebody could have several options or two or more options, I don't know. Uh, but it's a connection on top of a connection here. Um, somebody's also, their heart space was closed here um, somebody's holding on to deep-seated issues from the past maybe even childhood it has nothing to do with the significant other or the romantic partner but they're holding on to that somebody has found a new you, you walked into a new newfound wealth or um, um, status in terms of your money and you're just being very conservative almost stingy because you want to keep it right there. So keep in mind, it, money is energy. Always be moving the energy around so it can do what? Yep. Thank you, class. Grow. So you always want to be 
you know, making sure you are moving your money around. And moving it around is not just, oh, I pay my bills, I, I, I pay my expenses. If you have more than enough, um, give. There's always a need. There's all, look for it. There's a need. Somebody needs something. Um, do, do you have to give away your entire bank account? Nope. But give. Um, this is also with the Four of Pentacles. Somebody, uh, this is materialism. At its best, somebody wanting more than they actually need. The Four of Pentacles also talks about, well, you know, money without a purpose is materialism. So make sure that your money always has a purpose, guys. Um, you want to be a millionaire. Why? You should be able to shoot that out in a matter of seconds. I want to be a millionaire before, because, or uh, for, um, and make sure that it's always not it's, it's serving you. And of course, other people. Okay, um, money without a purpose is materialism. Okay, um, if I just if it's just me in this world, you know, I, if it's just me, or it's just me that I have to be accountable to or obligated to, and I say I want a ten bedroom home, most people will look at me and say, hmm, well, it's just you. Why do you want that? I need to be able to readily articulate why I want that and hopefully um, it serves a purpose other than myself. If it doesn't, then it is materialism. And if you're okay with being materialistic, um, be that, live in that, okay? Um, don't hide from that. Don't hide who you are, okay? Uh, wow. Wow, guys. You got 444. Four of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Four of Swords. It says that you're protected, okay? In your home space, in your heart space, you are protected. It is okay for you to love. You have the Four of Wands coming out in the pre-shuffle in reverse, and you got it upright. Something about your home, protection, money in your home, protection, holding on to something for the home or for some feminine energy or wanting a family, wanting to have a firm foundation. Maybe you are hoarding all this money because the Four of Pentacles can talk about hoarding too. Um, not letting anything in, not letting anything out um, because you want to buy property, you want to buy a home, you want to celebrate some big thing or you want to do some big thing. You're making plans for the future with the Four of Swords here. So um, you also are inquisitive or, you're, or you want to inquire about someone else's status. Um, you're not sure. At this point, it's make or break in a relationship that you're in or that you're taking a break from. You want to communicate with someone and you want to declare your intentions to them. But there's also an air of wanting to keep it secret and not wanting to let the cat out of the bag. Because I don't know if you want to present something or something to someone or they want to present something to you. It says someone is trying to communicate with you with the 444 four, four, four also. That's that's interesting. I've never had this come out, guys. 444. Four, four. Very nice. This is a significant reading for you. Do know that. Um, you, okay, so some of you are trying to plan for retirement. Keep money up for retirement. To buy a home. To be set in your retirement. Um, you're trying to be strategic about how you use your money, where you put it, investments. Um, you feel like it's not a time for you to invest. Okay. It says that if you do want to invest, make sure you do your research, heavy duty research about what you're putting your money into. Some of you are just wash, rinse, wash, rinse and repeat at this time. Make the money, bring the money into the bank account or the home. I don't know where you keep your money. And then you do it all over again. Gearing up for the long haul for the next chapter in your life. Um, so that you can comfortably be at rest, at inertia, at uh, retirement. Also, this plans. Some of you are feminine and you're thinking about the future your future plans what it looks like some of you are saving money to purchase a home you're going to do some remodeling work or you this is what you do somebody's giving you the keys to a home 
you've got your plans in terms of how you're going to remake, remodel, restructure the home. You're looking at blueprints, blueprints. You're looking at plans in terms of structures, homes, buildings. You're communicating with a bank. You're trying to get to a place of where you can purchase something. Yeah, you can purchase something, make a large purchase, something, um, an investment here. You could be concerned about another person's um, status, money also. There's mystery surrounding this other person. Um, there is definitely a break between you and somebody else. All right, so, yeah, you could be looking at this person. You could be spying on them or wanting to inquire about what it is they do, where they live, what their, what their life is like right now. In deep thought about this person or, or they're in deep thought about you. Cancer, this is your reading. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below and pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. If you feel like there's something you need to release, get in on the full moon release ritual happening July 23rd. You want to release negative thoughts. Uh, bad spending habits, overeating, addiction, trauma, I don't know. Use the full moon energy to release, okay? And Cancer, you rule, well, your ruler is the moon. So this is, this is be good for you to actually use the energy um, that is um, the ruler of your, your, your sun sign, your, if this is your sun sign. Um, thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care. All links are below.